before we get into uh, Power Rangers talk, but mm -hmm. how did you get into martial arts? Because I'm super fascinated with, with that, and, and I'm sure you know that opened up some doors. Oh, yeah. And I, when I was little, I took karate classes, and you know, as, as all young kids do, and, and, they, and that went nowhere. Yeah. So how did you get into you know? that practice and stay with it. Right. Um, well, I mean, you know, as a young kid, I mean, I'm sure a lot of you guys get this story as well, too, but I was pretty bullied uh, as a young kid. And, um, you know, I was just sort of, very, I was very socially awkward. And, you know, I really was just trying to make friends, but I ended up like pissing people off. <laughs> the kids didn't like me very much. And uh, so I had this group of kids that used to pick on me almost daily in elementary school. And, um, that back in like 1984, the movie The Karate Kid came out. And I watched that movie and I'm like, this is my life that's right. happening right here. I had the headband? Huh? I had the headband? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, the headband, but anyway, but the story of, of, of the movie, you know what I mean? It was like, it was this kid getting bullied by all these, by the, all these guys. And I was like, man, I wish I could just learn karate so I could kick these guys' butts and stuff. And um, I, when I was about 12, luckily I went to go live with my dad. And um, so I moved away from there. And there was a karate school right down the street from my house. And I used to just go and press my you know, face up against the glass and watch these guys. I used to watch every kung fu movie and karate movie that was out there. I was just obsessed with martial arts on television and just wanted to be a ninja. And I had like a little ninja outfit and I'd run around in my backyard and practice kicks even though I didn't know what the heck I was doing or anything like that. And uh, so, um, I don't know, I just, I wanted to learn, but you know, my parents, you know, my dad didn't have the, the money to pay for martial arts, so. Um, I was 12, and I got this idea in my head one time, and I just said, I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna go meet the, the, the instructor, the head, the head master, or whatever you call him, I don't know. <laughs> and uh, so I went in as a kid, and I was like, hey, listen, I really want to learn martial arts, but I don't have the money to pay. And I said, I'll gladly like clean the windows and the bathrooms and sweep the floors and stuff like that in exchange for lessons. Would you do something like that? And I stopped for sure he was gonna say no, but he goes, yeah, sure, I'll give you a shot. <laughs> and so then I basically, uh, you know, from then on, I was like there every day, you know, cause I was always there and I had to do the cleaning and everything like that. Then I get to take my classes. And um, I don't know, after I was there for like a couple of years and for whatever reason, you know, um, I started learning everything about the business, you know, so by the time I was like, this when I was like 12, by the time I was like 14, I started teaching the little kids classes, so I was already like an assistant there, and, you know, I was learning all the ins and outs of, of the martial arts business, you know, and by the time I was like 15 or whatever, I'm like, you know, signing people up, you know, I'm actually like signing contracts and getting people signing and everything, so I just went my whole life, you know. And I, and I had all these aspirations to be a martial arts instructor and open up martial arts studios and all that stuff like that. And I ultimately ended up doing that, but took a detour because one day I was 20 and I was living in Texas and I was teaching martial arts classes to the kids and a, a commercial came on the radio and said, hey, uh, if you uh, know martial arts and gymnastics, come down to the local TV station this weekend. We're holding tryouts for a show called Power Rangers. So I was like, oh, okay. I'm a martial arts gymnast, I'll go down and give it a go. And uh, so I went down to the local TV station in Dallas and uh, I went and tried out and there was like about 5,000 people in the parking lot. And I looked out over the sea of people and I said, there's no effing way that I'm gonna get this gig. Yeah. But, uh, you know, and then uh, like two, I did my little martial arts routine for them and stuff. And uh, two days later they called me back and they're like, hey, we really like your you know, we really liked your uh, audition. We'd like to fly you to California to meet Haim Saban and the producers. And so they flew me out the next day. And then I, I, as soon as I landed at the Burbank Airport, we went right to the Saban Studios. And they had a, opened up a big conference room for us to do the auditions. And we just went and did our thing. And then like two days after that, they go, congratulations, you got the part. Now we have to start filming right away because we are already in the middle of production. We had to shut production down to find you guys. So you can't go home. And I was like, I have one change of clothes. <laughs> I was literally here for one day. And I'm like, can you have your clothes mailed to you? <laughs> so I had to have my clothes shipped to me. And I remember, because like Johnny and Karen and them, they had to have their cars shipped to them and all their clothes and everything too. We weren't, we weren't allowed to leave. So we started, we, get, we got thrown right into the deep end. And remember, I had never done any acting before. 
I have no aspirations to be an actor or anything like that. And I literally, you know, three, four days later, I'm on set and I'm learning about cameras and marketers and lighting and, you know, sound and all this stuff. I mean, like, it literally was all on the job. I was at a Comic-Con Comic -Con and um, at first I met Billy Zabka, who was you know, Johnny at the time. And this is all before, way before Cobra Kai, you know, before those guys got their, you know, blow back up again and, and stuff. And I met him a few times, he was pretty cool. And then one time, their Ralph Macho was there with him. And I just remember, like, oh, there was maybe like, you know, 10, 15 people there, like, not crazy like they have now, you know? And I was like, oh my God, I want to be there. And I said, Billy, can I meet Ralph? I've never met him yet, you know? And uh, anyway, so I, 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 got to, I got to meet Ralph Macho, and I told him, I said, look, you're the reason that I got into martial arts. And he goes, and you stuck with it and I didn't. And I go, dude, that don't matter. <laughs> you're a legend, you know? So uh, anyway, it's just a great feeling, you know? So I, I can relate when people come up and say that kind of stuff to me, like, hey, you were my childhood. Well, so I, I can relate. And I mean, some of these people, you know, some of these events that I do, you know, it's all good.